this podcast has rules. If you follow them, I'll reward you. If you don't, I'll punish you. Now, let's begin. Siri, order butt plugs. We saw 50 shades of gray, so you know what that means. Valentine's Trilogy, Fifty Shades of Grey, based on the best-selling Twilight fanfic. This movie is hot, or it thinks it's hot. If you don't know, if you've not seen the movie, let me set it up for you. It involves a, uh, a recent college grad named Anastasia, who falls in love with a 27-year-old billionaire who likes to do weird shit. Is he a stalker? Is he a creep? Or does he like, yes is the answer. And you're not wrong. People in the BDSM community do not like this movie. They think they got it all wrong. And maybe the reason why is because the woman who wrote the fanfic of Twilight who was almost sued by the producers of Twilight for the similarities to the exact movie and book, was on set to make sure not a word deviated from the fanfic. So that gives you just a little idea of what we're in store for. It's a movie where not much happens, but yet it's two hours and 11 minutes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, to break down this film, I have some amazing co-hosts, and I have a very special guest. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Jason Manzoukas! <laughs> What's up, jerks? Here we go. Here we go, Largo. Holy night, shit. Night one, 50 Shades of Grey. You know, Paul, when you told me 50 Shades of Grey was what we were doing, I was like, three nights, Three movies, great idea. Home run. 20 minutes into this movie today, I was like, oh no, we're fucked. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. When I was zoning out of sex scenes, when I was like, oh, there's boobs on screen, I'll go make more coffee. This is, these are singular events for me. I've never not paid attention to tits on screen. Today, I was like, I don't know. It's what? a movie about sex that feels the least sexy of anything I've seen. Wow. It's sincere. It makes me feel awkward. There is more sexual tension between Sylvester Stallone and Sandra Bullock in Demolition Man. And they are father and daughter. Than in this movie. Well, this I, is straight nonsense. Well, I'm happy that... And that there's two more... I'm not going to let you talk. <laughs> and that there's two more is absolutely chilling. You gotta... Where does it go? I you will be know. dead. I will be dead by Friday. <laughs> we have so much to talk about, but let's bring out my other co-host. Please welcome to the stage, Miss June Diane Raphael. Hello, 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 hello. Oh my gosh. Welcome, June. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing well. June, 
<laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey. I, oh gosh, I'm so scared to say I think I liked this movie. <laughs> I'm so happy you said that. And I'm so happy you didn't say any of that backstage. (laughs) Team Team Fred fracturing at the seams. I know. I don't know what to say. I feel so (laughs) exposed. I feel like Dakota Johnson. I feel like I'm tied up right now. And I'm out of control. And I'm just trusting you all. I I feel so naked. There's no way she's a virgin in this movie. I buy it. When that was... Okay. How does she get anybody? She doesn't have a computer. Quick and question. also, Jason, Jason, here's how you know a woman in her 20s is a virgin. The shirt. She wears sweater. shirts with patterns. Yes, and sweaters. <laughs> the shirt-sweater combination should have keyed me in. When she was wearing it, and the roommate was like, is that what you're wearing? I was like, yeah, is that what she's wearing? <laughs> is that what you're wearing? What are they she trying to tell me? in a hardware store. Every hardware store I've ever been in are just old men. <laughs> Who smell I, like cigarettes? Honestly, I was shocked they let her work there. Why would you? She Wait, seemed not handy at all. I mean, I thought for sure her interest in hardware in and her knowledge of knobs and would come into wrenches use? are it's it's going to beautifully play into oh, yeah. the nope. third act when she takes the reins. She's like, oh no, you need this rope to exactly. wi- be able to carry more weight. <laughs> you the know, one, you know, thing. It, the one thing this movie got wrong, there's only one, is that in the BDSM community, cable ties have been cut out. And that's the one thing that oh, she yeah. supplies him. Because oh, yeah. permanent damage Here's to the your thing. submissive. If you work... <laughs> <laughs> I do research. I do okay. my research. If people. you work in a hardware store, you absolutely know when someone is ordering a beginner creep set. (laughs) Here's my thing. If you told me this was a Dahmer story, I would believe you. It runs a very similar track. Now, I want to talk to you about this movie so much, but we have to introduce. Do we have to? No, we we must. We must. Introduce our very special guest. She is not just a how did this get made also she Ugh. is uh a how did this get made alternate she is one of the family if there was four how did this get made people she would be the fourth. which there are not no no nor will there ever be okay <laughs> she is the co-host of the deep dive <laughs> please welcome to the stage jessica st Clair. Hello, hello. <laughs> welcome, Jessica, okay. welcome. I want you guys to know that I did my notes on my phone and it started with um, math. It was like BB's math homework. So it says study multiplication threes. And then it says anal fisting, <laughs> vaginal fisting. <laughs> what are butt plugs? <laughs> I would like to fuck you into next Wednesday. That's what's on my notes. Those are the only notes you took? And By I'm the way, this, incredible. I'm Can asking I this, this, are those notes or did you have like the voice? Is that a to-do? I don't know. Now, I want to say I something about anal. I want to say something about anal fisting and vaginal fisting. Yeah, I really, I it. also want to say something oh, about okay, anal fisting. So, say it. So... Yeah. Okay. So Please anal speak. fisting, <laughs> anal fisting, also, and vaginal. Also, thank you, June, fisting. for moving down and not letting. I know. Her I'm, sit so I close knew. To it. I, no problem. No problem. <laughs> I know what to be a point. <laughs> Go ahead, June. I actually thought. Now I haven't read the books. I didn't know anything about this movie. Am you I, read the books? No, I haven't no. read oh, the books. I haven't either. Wait, out I have curiosity. Have any of us read the books, or have any I of us seen the movies? Of the books. What? Okay. Excuse me. That's so hey, much worse than reading the book. Also, also what are wait, you which about? section? Paul. Paul. What okay. Are you That's like about? I've only seen some scenes in a porno. Wait. It's Damn. like, oh wait, no. I know I've seen at least one scene from True Detective season one. Did you order the book, Paul, or did you do that weird thing where you're like in a Barnes and Noble and you're like, oh, this is weird? And you're just like. 
like in the corner, just like flipping through, flipping I through. I purchased the book because I like literature and I like knowing oh what's going God. on in pop culture. I had the book on my shelf for quite some time. The first one. And that's the shit that's oh, the getting delivered. One. The good one. And uh, there was a passage I remember that he was describing going down on her like eating an oyster. And he described it like as a basic. salty, sweet uh, taste. And that, that image of an oyster and this that, I was disgusting. like, ooh, I don't know if you want to put shellfish and oral sex together in a pack. I don't think ooh, that's like the best thing. Briny. <laughs> well, if you're ooh. getting a taste of the sea, you need to end you're, that date. I want that you. That pH balance is off. You, it's you off. are mine. You are mine and brined. Ooh, crack you open. Listen, I haven't he read did it. Did use a minuet sauce before he went down on her in the book? <sighs> I'm so upset. This movie. I'm really upset. That's the book, though. That's not in the movie. My notes are. I'm looking at them completely insane. Yeah, as I did write this. I did write this. Look, we don't want to kink shame. We don't want to yuck anybody's yum. Not at all. But this is like the same way when I saw um, Sylvester Stallone eat pizza with a fork and knife. We have to call out it's weird. I yeah. love pizza. That's not okay, the way you here's, eat it. Here's the thing. I did not... Well, I'm going to reveal something. I'm <laughs> so surprised. <laughs> I found... I guess I... I don't know. I thought there was going to be more stuff mm. going on. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, there's, I really there's did. Two I was more like, movies. I know there's two more movies, but in this one, I was like, I saw that list of things he wanted to do. And by the way, anal fisting and vaginal fisting, I believe that Christian Grey put on that list to negotiate with. Right. I feel like off. he's like... It's like when you put stuff in a movie that you know the MPAA is going to yes, get flat right. so yes. you can pull it out. Exactly. So you have somewhere to go. <laughs> right. He wants you to know, negotiate. This that's is really only, interesting. Only, I had an issue, though. How did they read that contract? It was so dark in that room. It was so dark. <laughs> Very to dark. to me, I was like, all he really seems to want to do is tie her hands up and go down on her for hours. And that's great. <laughs> hours. And that's What's great. Wrong with that? Also, and and okay. she gets to sleep in her own room. Oh, that's a dream. That's a dream for most women. I'm on board. When she kept on saying, say, why can't we go to sleep together? I was like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> why but didn't he I'll hit? be honest. This guy is giving me big Patrick Bateman vibes. Yes. This guy, every this, to okay. me, like it's as if Dakota Johnson lives in a time or I'm so sorry. Anastasia Steele. I want to be very clear. This be as Paul said at the beginning, this began as Twilight fan fiction. I believe I would have preferred it. Shockingly, I think I'm going to wind up preferring the Twilight movies over these movies. The Twilight yes. movies are great. But yeah, they're great. Regardless. They're hot. They're great. That's hot. Yes. It is. They Vampires. Have chemistry. Fuck also, you is hot. This is it hot. Okay, stop. Wow. Stop making <laughs> Ceaseless <laughs> eye contact with me. That's what and it was screaming, like when we got married. Screaming because they're hot, because <laughs> vampires are hot at me. I know, I'm agreeing. Oh, no one is if she anti was next team to me. vampire, although some of us are team werewolf. But she, no. in, in, a, in a world in which uh, uh, Anastasia Steele, uh, it's not 2015, it's in fact later, would come up in the world being obsessed with true crime and true crime podcasts and murder podcasts and right. murder world. Every she red flag in the world. This that guy we're is living in a her. different time. We're living. This, oh, this we is can't a find snapshot this hot of a time anymore. that exists when this but, felt like I'll try. I'll try it. They can't find. Or like it's fun. They can't find a picture of him on the internet. This man is a 27-year-old billionaire. The four pictures on the internet are scenes from later in the movie. <laughs> There's one scene of him in the coffee shop. <laughs> I want to get into that Google search engine. How did they get that Listen. candid? There's another scene, another picture of him in the hardware store. Where is Google getting these pictures? <laughs> this is a great place, a great spot to ask the question, what does the Gray Corporation do? It's a media conglomerate. What is their what? business? It's yeah. a media conglomerate. A Just lot straight of business. Business, 
and telecommunications. They definitely said telecommunications, but... And, but then she was like, but it seems like you have like a real sweet side or whatever, because yeah. you do all this charity work. And he's like, well, eh, not really. He's, he's trying to be like Bruce Wayne, but no Batman. Well, his bat like, cave is very I, different. Yeah, I guess that's it. He does have very masks different. and weapons that just used not for the Joker. <laughs> Okay, I, here's the, my question, though, about his specific kinks. He has his kink, which is I, I, lots of slapping, which is fine. You know, that's fine. And <laughs> different textures and different, feathers. Yeah, feathers. And, I love a feather. Uh, feather dust in her? Is he Great. fucking her? I can't no figure it out. I'm no like, problem. Dust but me with also, a feather all night long. Did, that's fine. I know, but I did feel that there was... He makes a big statement of like, I fuck, I don't make love. I fuck hard. But then like, I never saw I you fuck hard. close caption, you know, I'm, I fuck, fuck so slowly. Cut, it was, I fuck, period, hard, hard period. period. <laughs> he just, the oh fucking God, did seem like making love. And I just, well, that's where his internal that. conflict was. I know, but here's, okay, but here's my question. She's changing him. Here's my question. She's changing here's him. Here's my question. <laughs> I understand, I think, what his kink is in the red in the playroom, but when he takes out a belt and whips her <laughs> six times. That was tough. Is that sexual or is what where are we? No. There? That's that reliving the, his own punishing. trauma. That's the punishment. It is like doesn't she say something to the effect of why don't you show me yeah. the punishment? Yes. Because he but says he's saying out. I'm not gonna do that what I would do, and she's saying, "Why don't you show me that?" Yes, because that, that was honestly that's the that right? only problem I had with the movie. It's just <laughs> right there. That's it. Wait, that's, that's it. it. That, that scene was the only really? problem. Really? That was, like, oh, was this a is step just too abuse. far. That that I couldn't abide by. Wow. <laughs> and I won't. But she but asked for else. it. She did ask for it enthusiastically. Paul, <laughs> careful. Um, <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Oh boy. <laughs> The truth is, if Paul had a playroom, first of all, my first, my first thought I when I saw the movie, I his organization. I will say his organization <laughs> was you. top I knew you were not. Okay. So into that, Paul. This is the I closet of Paul's so dreams. That. First oh, of yes. all, the first I shot. I did. I was like, moment. oh, I would love I to said, push this. In. Is... But imagine you clean that apartment. <laughs> Rough. You think he's putting all of those elements in place? Come on. No, well, he's got to have a full staff. But, but if it was Paul's, it would just be like a bunch of like different batteries. And then like, you know, it would be like different, you know, like different ropes for different things, you know, different containers for snacks. I do That's have what that. your playroom would be. Well, you know and everything what? would be labeled. And too. everything would be labeled. What? And oh, this with is a, yeah, weird. I mean, all of a sudden, I'm being labeled. As I weird. also thought sure, it was weird. Sure, I get my cable ties. I get some masking tape. I go meet young girls at the hardware store. It's no big deal. I keep an organized pantry. I thought it was strange that there was no insert shot of a brother P touch that Christian Gray was using to label. Typing everything. in fuck jeans, <laughs> putting it on a hanger. Flogger. That Here, was a terrible moment. That's a flogger, he says. I was like, oh. here's what I'll here's what I'll say. Where uh, just to slightly disagree about the ending, um, I felt like she could take that hit because no, of no, the no, way no, that no, she no, fell no, on her no, face no. the first time we see her. I'm like, this girl's falling all the time. The way she falls <laughs> in that, that opening crazy. scene. That was crazy. Okay, I don't I even actually, understand the I, physics of it. I it's really as if wow. like a ghost pushed her down. <laughs> I would love it if there was a ghost in this movie. <laughs> I think there was one. Please, please oh let there God. be a ghost. I did rewind that moment, Paul, a few times because I was like, what did she trip over? There's no one there. There's nothing there. And why? It's a smooth marble floor. It's a heavy door <laughs> yes. that when she hits it, as if it's as if it's nothing. And she's like, I thought it was going to be heavy. And then instead, like, whoa. <laughs> I thought his hot assistant, like, pushed her at the last second. Uh, the office is, <laughs> uh, everybody's, the way they're dressed, the way it's laid out, looks like it's from a shitty music video or something yeah. like that. The entire world is foundationally unbelievable. Yeah. So much so that I, again, deeply wish it was just Twilight. 
Like, I wish it well, had something. Like, I wish we understood what his world was, what yes. her world was. Immediately, we never get access to him. And she's like, no, I left school. Now I live here. But who knows what I'm doing? I don't even who understand knows? where she's moving to or from. Like, I she seems to be moving issue. out of an apartment to just move to a, another apartment. She's like, is she far away from him? Is, are they together? Is I she never go- knew when we were in Seattle, when we were outside of Seattle. I think we're always when, in Seattle. No, because there were times he's like, we're going to Seattle. Yeah, I, like, yeah. I thought you were there. Oh, and she we got need there. To, we need to get in a helicopter to go there. We got to get in the chopper to go to Seattle. Guys, if I am going on a first date with somebody and he's just like, surprise, we're getting in a helicopter. I'm just like, do you have a license? Like, she's just like, yay! A and then like the whole percent. time they're flying, he's just staring into her eyes like a psycho. I'm like, keep your eyes on the fucking sky, Forget asshole. that. Forget that. I don't want to go down. Every- this guy's love language is flying. Yeah, why? Whenever he makes a mistake, he's like, "Time." If the bigger the mistake, the weirder the airplane. He's, here's the deal. He's too young. He's too young to be a good enough pilot for yes. this to work. This is this is insane. No, okay. I don't want to go zero G with you, asshole. <laughs> I don't know she, who you are. There are multiple. They also are in a glider in this. What in, was if, that? It was there an engine. No, that's no. a glider. I don't know airplane. what a glider is. I'm je- I, I have roots. <laughs> Jess, We're are you yelling. okay? I'm really worried that the second movie is going to have a hot air balloon. <laughs> If it does, I'm going to flip up. I love it. She's just like bent over the hot air balloon. (laughs) And he's like. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going in while we're going up. Here's the deal. None Uh, of this, even everything we're saying, none of this is sexy. None of it. It's not. None of it is sexy in any way, shape, or form. He never. No, June, you can find any. June is not a good test audience. She can find anything sexy. Well, here's what I'm saying. I will say, June, you're right. It's true. You're right in the sense that there is unquestionably beautiful people photographed beautifully and in a way that I was like oh these are hot people absolutely there's just no spark or chem it's as if people were playing with dolls I I was gonna say they are as hot as mannequins and they, I am as emotionally connected the, to the them mannequins, as mannequins. The like, mannequins they are, are like, ma- yeah, that's the that's a body. That's <laughs> yes. a body. I don't. That's how I, bodies go together. Like I, <laughs> like there's nothing to me about Christian Grey that's like, whoa. He's like, he has Patrick Bateman energy. It's like that opening scene is like that scene where. Uh, Willem Dafoe is interviewing Patrick Bateman in American Psycho, where he's trying to find out if he killed him. I mean, that's as much chemistry as you're getting. Like, he's not smooth. He's not charming. He has less charisma than Patrick Bateman. He's got no riz. He's got no riz. He's got zero riz. Okay, define riz. (laughs) (laughs) He's got that riz, baby. (laughs) Oh, no, you can't use it in a sentence. Try again. Try you again. can't use the so word so we want close. you to define. Try again. <laughs> That's some hot riz, baby. Put that you're, riz on me, baby. Who has riz? Further and yeah. further yeah. riz. You're Ooh. getting Jess. further and further. I want you to riz all over my face, baby. <laughs> Do you now. think riz is related to jizz? <laughs> Jess, who has riz? Who has riz? Don't say riz, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Who has Riz? Not, none, no, none of those people in that movie have the Riz. <laughs> yes. I'll tell you who has Riz. Who? Dakota Johnson's stepdad. After that gazpacho rant, I was oh. like, all right. I like this guy. I like this guy. I like his energy. He's the only person that gave me any bit of life. And he's like, yeah. he's doing bits. He's Her- like, hey, man, I want to eat gazpacho. It's like eating the I whole thing of salsa. I'm like, I'm like, oh, thank God, a human being. Yeah. <laughs> Someone. Her biological dad, too, I liked. Who oh, shows yeah. up at her graduation. Who like, walks hey, in with kid, the what students. do you need? Blah, blah, blah. Lovely, <laughs> lovely man. Why are these people having such a hard time getting to her graduation? It seems like a big deal. Yes. The mom doesn't go because the dad broke the his step foot. Dad. Yes. The step, the fourth Golfing. stepdad. And then the I other dad is like such... so late that he's like popping in. It looks like, like he was in the procession <laughs> of students. He's like, oh, she's like, oh, I saved you a seat. How? <laughs> It's so hard, though. There are certain things in these movies, these big budget movies, where it's like, 
it's so weird. The the excuses are so weird and, and, and the exposition is so damn odd that I'm forced to believe it. I'm like, yeah. I guess. Like, it, like, it has to be true. It has to be true because it is so wild that the stepdad can't come because of a broken toe. That, that the mom would no, I'm sorry, that the mom can't But that's come. the whole thing. That's why she puts herself in this. And I feel when I'm speaking about this movie in a normal way that I'm like, I wrote this for my senior women's studies thesis. Yeah, I know. I know. It's tricky. It's <laughs> at the but women's this is at the women's center. But this is why... This is why she's in these relationships. Well, we she's make... not being put first by anybody. And, and then can Christian we agree right. that yes. she puts was her kidnapped. first. What? Can we agree that she was kidnapped? What do you yes. mean? Oh, yeah, for sure. Out of the bar, she pukes, and he's like, you're coming with me. Yeah. yeah. And then she's oh, yeah. like, held hostage also, in a room. I'm so sorry, but <laughs> and also... And dressed up like this. Why is he there? Of... It's inappropriate. She calls him to tell him off. He shows up and abducts her. Yeah, he tracks her. She's in a blackout, wakes up in it's a... a meat puke. <laughs> it's the best joke of the night right there. <laughs> um, holy shit. But, I mean, his arrival, as if as if this is like he's a, 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 a knight in shining armor who's coming to rescue her from being drunk? From she, Jose? Get the fuck out of here. This is a... Poor Jose. This is a villain. He's a yes. villain. Yes. Christian Grey is wow, a villain. Wow, wow, wow. This is hurtful. And, <laughs> this is really and, hurtful. And Taylor is his hatchet man. Well, Taylor's yeah. doing some shit. He's Selling doing cars. Some, he's doing some shadow work. Oh, big time. <laughs> He's what happened to those other 15 girls that shared the red room or whatever? He's a, this guy's see, that, a mercenary. Those are mo- there are moments in this movie where they are sort of, they land as comedy, but you know they're not supposed to be. And I laughed so hard when Dakota Johnson is in that room and she says, how many women have, have been in this room? How many women have been in this room? <laughs> uh, okay, June, and he's, June, can we take it again? But just less. And then end with this. Okay. How many women are in this room? (laughs) And he says so quickly, he says 15. Yeah. I I cried laughing. It's just like another moment I don't think was supposed to be funny, but I laughed was when he does start to open up about his past trauma and what happened to him when he was four. And she looks over and she's asleep. She is sleepy oh, time. Oh. Sleepy, is. sleepy, sleepy. When she revealed that she was a virgin, I that was laughed crazy. so hard. That was crazy. I was like, absolutely not. There's no way, shape, or form. It's, so it's funny, not even though. being played that way. I know. And here's again my only other critique. My <laughs> only other is like we actually we didn't need her to be a virgin. And that's um where I, I just felt like EL, like, let her, she can still have a sexual past and be opened up to. Well, it's strange new. because she's older than Bella from Twilight. Is right. it Bella? Bella's in high school. It's, Bella's she's a high old, school Bella student. being a virgin seems like, okay, she's young. Like, the, the, to, to then map this onto, then I'm like, well, what world is this? And what world are we in? And I don't understand it. And I feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, because it's not that I she's... I didn't sign but Jason, anything. Well, the I, fact you didn't sign I a goddamn didn't, thing. I did not consent <laughs> to the movie happening the to way. me. By the way... When she signs that NDA in the oh. beginning, he's like, here's an NDA. She's like, yeah. Love it. Please. No red flags there. I she, want... she, that's, that's what she says. Are you going to make love to me now? That, that's, this is a virgin. By the way, well, are mean, you going to make love to it. me now? She just worked an eight-hour shift at the hardware store. <laughs> yeah. Got in a helicopter. Yeah. Flew for about another 40 minutes. Like, let her take a shower. She's like, why, yeah. don't, why don't you show me your ball-peen hammer? That's w- a great joke. No. I will you say, have to explain it. It's a great I like joke. It. By the way, I will say that uh, she, yeah, I get, she reacts to sex and things of sex in 2015, like, so scared. Like, when she, like, looks at, like, what bondage is, oh, closes that laptop right. so quickly. And I was like, wow, that's freaking you. Like, 
You, they were very only, tame images, too. Yeah, uh, very Also, tame. her question, what is on. a butt plug? She had time. She's taken four weeks to look at that contract. She had time to Google that. You're, a tw- <laughs> you're also a 20-something in 2015. You know you, what a butt plug is. You don't is. know what a butt plug is? You, you never know heard what it is. butt plug? My question is, why does he have to pick the pharmacist? He doesn't have to pick the pharmacist, babe. He has to pick the doctor. That's uh, fucking okay. creepy. I oh, thought yeah. he had to... That's that controlling. That is so creepy. Oh, yeah! Think? Now, I do, now, oh, I do that... Think, Paul? I do that for June because I just don't trust any man around her. And I mean, she I, says to him on their first meeting, so you're a control... Sorry. So you're a control... <laughs> and he says, oh, I exercise control in all things Miss Steel. <laughs> Fuck you, movie. <laughs> Fuck... This is, like, porn character names in a... No- this movie, like... Cinemax movies are more sexual than more satisfyingly. Red Shoe Diaries gets it right. (laughs) Silk Stockings is better than this shit. Where's the Covney? Um, Here's another red flag. Here's the biggest red flag. (laughs) If you are on a date with somebody and they're like, want to see me play my grand piano, that means you are about to get killed. Yeah. Or whipped with a peacock feather. Or you're dating Billy Joel. That's right. And that's a good scenario. <laughs> but when have you ever been like, ooh, that's so sexy, that man's playing that grand piano. Now we've seen it in I'm Pretty so Woman. I'm so sorry, Chrissy we've Teigen. This- you don't listen to her. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, she, yes, I it. It's true. It's like not a guitar. It's not the you sexiest think a guitar instrument. Is- I don't what? want, listen, I don't want any man to play music to me. <laughs> me neither. I don't want any man when to I play bring music to me. I don't want to see you so, play sad way. songs on your Casio right. keyboard. But if it's something, <laughs> if it's got to be an instrument, well, I, I, mean, I would take a guitar. Well, I mean, this cheese ball, right? Because I was looking at him like, I don't even think his style of dress is cool. Like, when they go out to walk in the woods, like, I don't like the way he's dressed. That's Banana Republic. That's yeah. the Mad Men collection <laughs> from yes. 1994. This is, he's not dressed like he's on succession. Yeah. No. no. You know what I mean? Not. Like You're true right. wealth. He's a billionaire. He's the youngest billionaire? What was the headline? I can't remember. Youngest billionaire in business. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh. She majored in English lit and minored in lip biting? Is that right? <laughs> uh, I like when he becomes a sex terminator. He's like, your leg's moving. That means that you're wet. Your eyes are going like this. That means that you've never been fucked at night. Your ears are just... I'm like, yeah. what? How do you know Suddenly all of he's this? he's Sherlock. Yeah. He's like... I. He goes into his memory palace and understands fucking everything that's happening. By the way, give me that version of it. But he is done. How did he find her at the bar? He tracked her phone? Who knows? But that's, that's like the thing we're led to believe. Does like he have his he, guy following Taylor. Her? Taylor's yeah, probably Taylor. following I Taylor. I also think it's some of the telecommunications he's up to. Track her. Track her phone. I will say that this is a funny thing that I noticed and was confirmed for me today, that uh, when she hangs up, there's a dial tone, but that's on cell phone. <laughs> Nobody caught it. <laughs> Tink. Oh, God. Uh. Nobody caught it. What about that weird dance she does when they're in the middle of that, like, Frank Sinatra moment? That's the other thing I can't... I can't go back and forth between romance and then all that crazy shit. I also can't... Here's another hallmark. I realize there's another hallmark of a bad movie, of one of our bad movies, wherein all the needle drop songs inside of it, the Frank Sinatra song accepted, are covers. Mm. Are bad covers of a song that they want to use, but are not. And I was like, this movie is just drowning in shitty covers of songs in a way but that are like, slow covers yes. too like they're not yeah they're like Plotting. let's make that real slow <laughs> like and now it's sexy this movie is trying so hard to be sexy like this this movie is Anastasia Steele right like it is like that's sexy I'm mm. a virgin I know what sexy <laughs> sex is like that's what it feels like so it, if you're at home just pull that quote from Paul and <laughs> Put a song in there. Make it a make it a second yeah, opinion. But I mean, don't oh, you feel like that? Like, God. like because I guess I mean, the whole it's so thing hard, is I I don't even remember there. As Paul knows, there's a lot of like cultural moments that I just dip out of. Like I'm not a part of. Yeah. And this was one of them. Like I don't remember. I, I have a vague recollection of one of my sisters who I never saw read a book and had no interest in. <laughs> <laughs> books or literature just like sitting with 50 shades of gray like <laughs> <laughs> and 
And I was like, why is she reading a book? Like, it was so crazy. Well, it was also such a cultural, a, a cultural, like, movement. This yes. book was massive. These books. Yeah, and, and so I guess they were just um, porn for women? Or, uh, and that's great, and that's wonderful, you know. And, and listen, that's why I struggled with the last scene, because... I love that for women, and I love that this movie does that for... That's all wonderful. But I just... The last scene when she's just simply, you know, being abused. It's, it's, it's a tough, tough one to it's swallow. It's tough to swallow, you know. It's tough to well, move on But this movie on also from. is doing something really interesting because the movie really... Like, if you were to arc it out, if you were like, what is this movie? Like, what are the acts of this movie? It's like, there's nothing there. It's like, they meet. He's like, hey, I'd like you to sign this contract so I can beat you up and she's like I'll think about it she never does he's like well, I'll give you a sample and she's like I'm out and that was it that's the movie well like it's like I think so I don't know because we haven't seen I guess we'll find out tomorrow night but oh does she ever say yellow does she ever say she red she hasn't signed the contract I, I, but she's gonna sign it, right? She's for sure. No, gonna she sign walked it. out. She's definitely gonna. She's sign definitely they get married. She's, she's never, never coming back. back. There's so many I people at home. People. What is so this many like... listeners who've read the books or watched these movies are like, can I, shut up. But is this can I, can so sorry? You, no, no one wrecked this. No one wrecked this because I think in the second movie she becomes the dominant and he becomes a submissive because that's what I'm getting in my head. I'm like, oh. I don't want to see that. When he goes, when she goes like this, she's like, I don't want to see that. Stop. And he's like, okay. Yeah, that's kind of hot. Like he's coming. <laughs> is this my I don't question? That. She's re- reigniting that woman who raped him. By the way, this is a movie about a man who's been raped and is taking. He can't have normal sexual relations. <laughs> that's also underneath it, right? I mean, we can all agree. But oh, no, yeah, and again, yeah, we don't I mean, need that. El, we don't need that part. So we're talking about a May December storyline underneath <laughs> this movie. I'm like, wow. All right, cool. We'll just drop that in there. She was older than me. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. He has, yeah, more, he has more chemistry with Marsha Gay Harden, than, who plays his <laughs> adoptive mother, than he does with Dakota Johnson. Is they Rita, also, Rita when they Ora do, is the sister. Yes. When they do finally have sex, it is like, ju- she, and again, she has been revealed to be a virgin. He is just ramming it in straight away. And it is like the, the fantasy element of it. I was like, I don't get, I just couldn't, I could there was no intimacy, in, and I guess that's purposeful that's, on his part, no yep. intimacy inside of this. But for her, I was like, in that way that she was like then alone, and I was like, wait, there's no cuddling? There's no, but what that, is No, him, Jason, there's not. But to him. She gets to sleep alone most... in a bed. I'm sorry, that sounds great. It's hot. I mean. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> have a whole bed to yourself it's hey. wonderful um, <laughs> it is. no but we're seeing christian gray at the most intimate he's like i've never slept in a bed with a woman but then he does it over and over well, and that's over what I'm saying. <laughs> like he's it's so break- like no you he's obviously breaking do. his own rules because she's actually the dominant and he is submitting that's interesting. To her. she's like i want a date and he's like well i'll give you a date he doesn't realize she fucking Jedi mind tricked him. She's like, no. Well, I do she, think, listen, I do think that that is a reading of the movie that's absolutely available. That she's really the dom. You. He's really the submissive. Um, I just think it falls apart at the very end, fortunately. Was this movie like The Hobbit in that? Uh, go on. <laughs> Wait. Go on. In that it's shot in a high frame rate? <laughs> In that they knew they were going to shoot. Did they yeah. shoot all three at once? Not at once, but I do think they. I do think there was some. They already understanding knew that they, they would already be able knew. To. Well, because okay. the books were coming out, right? Yeah, so the books were coming out. They knew that they were they were signed on for three. Now the big story was that Charlie Hunnam was supposed to be Christian Gray, and then uh, like dropped out. Like it seemingly. Right, like I think right they, before. They might have even, did they shoot some with him? I think him? he was on the plane going to Vancouver. Okay, they, they shot. did shoot some with him, yeah. Wow. yeah. Why did and then the other thing I believe. Because he couldn't transition from his Sons of Anarchy character into this character. <laughs> this is what he said. And then I think there was there is also, and somebody I'm sure will correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Dakota Johnson and Jamie Dornan uh, despised each other. 
Oh, really? really? I think leads. that's been debunked. Oh, is that right? Okay, then Greg. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, CNN wow. cut, cut, news. I mean, truly, this I I'm, I'm trafficking in the gossip of the moment and nothing yes. more. Truly. And it seems that that was just uh, some sort of fabrication. Got it. They, okay. they totally are fine. very, very close with each then other. Well, I would imagine. <laughs> like, that's what I was also thinking about, too. This is a movie that to me is kind of a nightmare because it's like they are fucking so much that it like oh, that's a yeast scene. infection waiting to happen it, it, it just feels like apparently they put hidden cameras around all the rooms so it could have like more privacy oh, for that's those nice. scenes so i think that that seems like a nice thing isn't and, it so interesting and, oh yeah sorry and they also did cgi pubic hair oh wow what why did they put in pubes post in post <laughs> Oh, our, our pubes of, CGI budget really uh, <laughs> knocked this budget. You mean instead of a Merkin on the day? But why? <laughs> Wait, is that what I'm genuine? Is that what no, you're asking? No, I'm honestly under, I'm trying to understand. I heard they called understand. in Frank Oz, the guy who did Yoda, no, Jeff, to do like the pube work. It is such a good question. No, why <laughs> were the... Good question. Originally, you, I will. Such a good I question. will fuck you. Originally, each of their privates <laughs> talked. Oh. His was the voice... <laughs> His was... <laughs> It's such a good question because there's so many shots where you can't see her pubes and it just looks like there is she's a bald eagle and yeah. God bless America. But then <laughs> our national bird. <laughs> but then all of a sudden they are there in one. I also have to say, as a guy who's that organized and that neat. I don't think he'd be raw dog in his pants like that. I think he would be wearing some underwear. He feels to me like a guy who's like, I only wear underwear once. Yeah. Like he doesn't right. feel like a guy who puts on like slacks over dick and balls. Yeah. I understand that. That seems patently <laughs> insane. Also, isn't it funny to think we live in a world right now where there are multiple think pieces constantly being put out there about how young people think sex scenes shouldn't be in movies. What? That really? That they don't want I sex read all scenes of Jason's to be... blog posts. Have oh, you read yeah. them? They're great think pieces. There is a whole what? movement hey? amongst young people yeah. that sex scenes shouldn't be a part of movies. They are not appropriate to be in movies, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And only nine years ago, this was it was nothing but n sex nonsense from top to bottom. Wow, what's their problem with them? <laughs> young people? You tell me. <laughs> Let's go out to the audience. Let's find out from the young people. And by young, we mean 35. 35 is what we're looking for. Uh, all right, your name and your question. Hi, uh, Danielle. And uh, my question is, why is his obsession with him having sex in jeans and just jeans, right? In like one scene, he's like in a full suit. They're having like a sexy combo and then it cuts and he's like just in jeans. Can I ask? <sighs> Those are his fuck jeans. Like he yeah. gets his like, yeah. Is that part of the books? Is that like oh, it a, is, 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 that, right. is that the? Yes. Okay, yes. No, don't okay. Be a, no, this is a safe space. If you Can have you explain expertise. the fuck jeans yes, stuff at you. all? It's, it's like his costume for the red room. Okay. That's oh, genius. like it. Thank you. Thank you. This is okay. the Lord's work right here. Okay. We need this. Thank you help you. us. This is the best thing. Paul, yeah. can oh, I ask? Read she read the book today. Can I ask her a question? Yes. The whole book today. A plus. Can, I, can I ask her a question? What's your name? Raya. Raya. Why is it called the red room in the books and the playroom in the movie? Uh, so that's. Anastasia's view of it, the Red Room of Pain, and oh. his playroom. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, okay. Remember We're going to come back goes... to you because it's fresh in your head if we have other questions. Oh, I was going to say, is there anything else that we've been wondering about tonight or asked about that you have answers to that God. you want to share? And no pressure if not. Um, I don't think so. That's fine. You read it too? No, no, no. no. All right. All right. Somebody had a detail right. call over here. Wait, you have, a you have a question. Okay, we have. this is the first. An audience member has a question for the person who the, read. Wow. Yes. All right. No, Paul. Wait, this is an audience <laughs> member we, to audience yes. member question? I this love is. That. Are we allowed we are to win or should, should we, we just leave the stage? Go. Okay. All right. Your name? Rochelle. And Rochelle, what is your question for our other audience member? Are they correct about the CGI pubes? Well, she wouldn't know that from reading the book. <laughs> She didn't say she Wait. worked on the set. Do you think well, that I'm do they correct? Have pubes or I not? come correct. I know it's right. Ask me. Yes. You blew it, Rochelle. You blew it. 
<laughs> All right, going back to the guys now. In reading the book, I think the question. Book, pubes, I think the question for Raya was: Is there explicit mention of her pubes in the book? Are yes. they a character? Yes. Sorry to ask you this. I'm yes. so sorry yes. to ask you this. And yes. are they in the book yes. referred to as computer generated? <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you are saying an emphatic yes about the pubes. Like what? what do you, like why emphatically? Every time it is mentioned when he travels down there, it is a journey through the pubic hair. <laughs> wow. Wow. The hunt oh for pubes, God. colon, I'm... the journey through the pubes. This is, oh this is some real nonsense. <laughs> if you have to fight your way through a thicket like sleeping <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> beauty, it is time to whack. That is it, huh? That's why he's in the hardware store trying to get a weed whacker or something like that. All right, you so... shouldn't have to journey through those pubes ever. All right, uh, your name. Hi, Simone. Uh, so I think it's a kind of one of the worst cast movies of all time is universally recognized. Do you have alternate suggestions for casting? Ooh, great question. Great question. I mean, when it was filmed, I was probably 34, so... And I must have been I 27. I could have been playing 27 at that age, so I don't know if um, that's a, yeah, it's it was tough available. To be, to... Yeah, it's tough to be period specific to 2015. It could be from now. It could be from Can now, we're be? told, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the dom now? Who's the sub, baby? She's got ribs! <laughs> Again, I'm certain you don't know how to use that word. You got that ribs, baby! <sighs> I'll think about it. Yeah, I mean, this is a good question because it's like, you know, there's a part of me that goes, uh, you know, maybe I could see... Uh, well, it's like, what do you want from Christian Grey? You want, like, a sexy, confident I, I mean, guy? I, listen, I, I haven't read the book, so I don't know, but I, for me, their blankness... <laughs> worked like I didn't need more from them than for them to boy be did I I would yeah, have, so. yeah. I, I would have that's just like yeah so that's just, much more like from June are you saying that you like the traditional man woman movie like this <laughs> <laughs> boo yes yes that's I a also like a man a, woman movie it's a reference to another episode <laughs> of how did this get made yes oh. um, all right did you have a question Okay. Hi, I'm Yasmin. Um, can we talk about her friend for a second? Yes, Kate. please. Kate? Um, valedictorian. Her, who knew? Her, her who friend. Knew? How did you, by the way, how did she become valedictorian when I, Dakota Johnson is out there doing her work I, for her? How did she become a valedictorian work. when one of her questions are, are you gay? <laughs> Just, uh, yep, real clever She's interviews. She's not even graduating with honors. In that regard. By the way, I love that Dakota Johnson approached that interview. She's like, I just got to read it. It's here on the sheet of paper. It's like she was being like... She's it was like a Ron prank. Burgundy in Anchorman. <laughs> if it's in front of me, I'm going to say it. I love Kate. I was upset that we didn't get more of Kate. I feel like Kate had some life force. And I think this is the problem with a movie like this. Kate you and the brother were the most interesting, most compelling couple. Yes. Yeah, but Kate was a really bad friend. She, anybody could have seen she's getting, you know, over her head, all of the, pre and yes. by, also here's another thing that was different. In 2015, no one was blinking an eye. They're like, it's hot to have a guy buy you a car. You know, it's hot to like, Although, you don't have say, get a I, laptop. I thought it should have been a nicer car. <laughs> I didn't like that car. I didn't like that It car. looked like he got her a minivan. I thought it you was know, like, I like a, a minivan Civic. because I have I children. Like, what? But and I would have taken that car and really packed I, it full of camping gears, bikes, whatever. Yeah, I just, um, <laughs> you know, I think the thing with Kate is, and, and honestly, with Anastasia, too, is it's, listen, no kink shaming. I would never shame no, a yums. kink at all. But they go down a lot easier when the person with a kink is so... So rich that uh -oh. <laughs> that it's like it's like morally reprehensible. That's how rich they are, and and that's where you know I think we're we're able to overlook a few a few <laughs> things. Wait, why? Hey, why does wait? Wealth, I can't tell what you're saying. I don't what understand. What I'm saying is 
I don't think that this scenario would have taken place if Christian Grey was in, you know, a studio apartment. Okay, so I see. I see. so what yes. what you're okay. saying yes. is it would that be is hard. June. You'd have to well, do a divider. It June, would be hard if there's not yeah. another door. June Diane Rayfield for Sugar Daddies is what you are pitching out. <laughs> it is no, crazy, I'm and I wrote, like it's you know. I wrote this in a, in my thing that is like. In a post Dobbs world, how insane is it to watch a woman sign away her rights to a rich white billionaire? Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> I was like, this is chilling. Yeah, it was. This is, this it was is like a villain. time capsule to a very I was bad like, Ooh, time. I don't like this. This is, he is not trustworthy. This is, I don't <laughs> like that she's so easily giving away everything. The NDA signing immediately, I was like, gulp. Oh boy. Yeah. I did also think that the way that the dad reacted to her dating him was odd. Mm -hmm. I thought it was odd for him to pose with her in a picture after complaining so much that he didn't want a girlfriend. He's giving a lot of submissive messages. Uh, also this. mixed, very mixed messages. Yeah, mixed messages. Because he's like, no dates, no nothing, no movies, no nothing. And then immediately he's like, what about one day a week, a date? Can you yeah. imagine going bowling with well, Christian Grey? <laughs> It's Listen, ice skating, ice skating, that was his other here's option. Here's the thing, and I know very little about the, the community, but here's the thing. I'm, I'll still speak on it. Of course. I, I, what, can you just course. clarify what community? What community? I'm just saying in terms of submissive and doms, and you said this before, Paul, like I do think that he spent so long as a submissive that that is what he is playing out with her. That he's falling back into that. Mm. That's what I think. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Boy, do I wish mm. this had werewolves and vampires. <laughs> yeah. Boy, do I wish some part of this was about werewolves Listen, and vampires. Well, wouldn't you have totally. loved the last scene when she goes, stop? And he stares and she goes, <laughs> you know, she goes, Anastasia, Christian. Then you cut back to him and do the Michael Jackson eyes from Thriller, like, <laughs> 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 to be continued. <laughs> I will say there's the movie takes place in the Pacific Northwest and home of Not vampires. Really. Well, it does. It home gave of me seasonal vampires. Serial Wait, killers. Home of vampires. Well, yes. the Pacific Northwest is where Twilight is set. Yeah. Okay. okay. Because of how dark it is yes. there. And overcast. They can't. Yes. Their right, skin yes. is translucent. That's they where can't they handle are. the sun. That's why Duh. the Cullens live there, Paul. <laughs> Paul. Duh. Sorry. Paul. That's why the Sorry, Cullens I, live well, there. You guys were reading Twilight. I How was else? reading my Tess D'Arbaville's first editions, <laughs> which looked but, like some weird thing that I might get like at a crate and barrel. But <laughs> serial killers also live in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. yeah. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Bigfoot. Um, and Bigfoot. <laughs> and I was like, Bigfoot. oh, I bet there is Another a lot Northwest. of weird sexual stuff going on. Up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, do oh, you know? yeah. Well, it's raining all the time. You have to they be never inside. See the sun. They never see the sun. And they got to come they up with do things. Um, obviously, we had opinions about this movie, but there are people out there with a different opinion. It is now time for second opinions. Hey, my name is Jeff. She tripped into his office, why I do not know. She sells him cable ties, masking tape and rope. Gives her an NDA, but lets her take it home. These are Fifty Shades Second Opinions. Just give her a spank, Hank. Bind her with a tie, guy. Swat her with a switch, Mitch. And give it five stars. Clean her up in the tub, Doug. Tell me what's a butt plug. Take a bite on your lip, Chip, and give it five stars. Thank you. That was amazing. Give it up for Jeff. Amazing. Great job, Great job. Work, Jeff. Jeff. Great job, Jeff. Killing it. Wow. How? That's the way you do it. Take a lesson from Jeff. Great, great job. Um, okay. Well, obviously, you know that there are a lot of uh, five-star reviews on Amazon about this movie. As a matter of fact, there are 72,000... 72,000 reviews wow. of this movie. Oh, reviews or five-star reviews. No, uh, there are 72,000 total reviews, okay. and 77% of them wow. are five stars. Wait, and, are we on the wrong side of this? And I will just tell you what I have to say here. Nikki, 
Uh, titles or review, I have to say, I definitely like the movie more. As someone who has read the book and now has seen the movie, I have to say, I definitely like the movie more. I found it to be way more romantic than the book. They did a great job in making it to where the people would enjoy it. The music in the movie was incredible, and the sex scenes were done quite tactfully. As long as you can understand that this isn't what true love is supposed to be about. I think it would be just fine for a mature 16-year-old to be able to watch with parental supervision. I don't know about that. I'm sorry, just a quick question. Can I go on Amazon and tell people what age people should be to watch certain movies? Well, this is maybe what this is what's happening here. Uh, Nikki continues, I watched this film with my own mother. What? Which was great because we got to talk about what was going on. Great movie, and I highly recommend it. Expl- I had to explain anal fisting to my mom. Now, Jay chimes in and writes, This movie was very hot and steamy. I am very happy with the purchase of this movie. It was definitely worth the buy. It made me all tingly inside. The actors were quality actors. Anna was a little annoying, but I would buy the movie again. I mean, I would recommend buying this movie for a little bit of romance in your life. The movie was definitely hardcore, and I think I would buy the movie again. I even bought the sequel to the book, and I'm super excited for Fifty Shades Darker to come out in theaters. I have a whole year to wait, but I'm really excited for it to come out. I love the movie so much that I can't wait. I watched this again last night before I went to bed. And then I woke up and watched it again, and I started thinking about it. Nope. You should totally buy this movie, and you should buy the book. It will make you feel hot. You will definitely need a napkin after watching this movie. Christian is an amazing actor, and he is so hot. I would buy this movie. Christian is an amazing actor. I would buy this movie 904 million more times. Purchase this. This story is well written, and whenever I was watching this movie, it put me in an amazing mood. I was always better after reading these novels and watching this movie. I would say buy it, and I would say watch it alone. Wait. And then read the book alone, too. And then you'll be feeling like a million bucks in no time. That guy died in an ocean of his own jizz. Hold on. R.I.P. Hold on. on. We should cut that out. I am a mom. R.I.P. And my kids... Drive me absolutely crazy. They yell all the time. And whenever I get them down for naps, I pull out my Kindle and I start reading this book. Or I bring out my iPad and I watch it. I forget about being a mom for a few minutes and I can actually fantasize about being the character. And then I'm snapped back into reality when they wake up and I wait for them to sleep. I start counting the minutes until they are sleeping so I can read my book and watch my movie. I even pull it out while the kids are watching TV or my husband is watching the game. I would recommend this movie to all my girlfriends. It is a hot read and definitely something I would watch again. I already have. These kind of movies are my favorite. I love the dominance of the male character and I'm very pleased with my purchase. Buy this movie for a bit of hot and heavy romance. You will not be dissatisfied. Happy watching, ladies and gentlemen. I am very happy with the purchase of this movie. Five stars. Wow. What? I feel like... I feel like that's the art. Like, that is why these books took off. Listen, women have nothing else. We don't have other books. We don't have other movies. So we accept whatever you give us. We have How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days in This. But imagine what do we have? Imagine if this this is what you were given and being like, this is what you want? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Maybe you feel like Jonathan Daniel Bullock, who says, movie got me laid. I can dig it. Five stars. <laughs> and I bet that's going to be repeated tonight. Someone is here on a date. They're going to get laid because of this movie. I can dig it. <laughs> uh, also, Melly Guerrero writes, I bought this from my aunt. It was well packaged and in great condition. <laughs> Five stars. Great gift. Great gift to your aunt? Your, oh, your elderly aunt, aunt? Aunts love these aunts books. Aunts live for this. This is, these stories are big ant energy. <laughs> and I will big just go godmother to, energy. I will go to one of the first opinions. Uh, this is something that we got from Jason Crouch. Gives it one star. 
he says, this is the stupidest movie I've ever watched. <laughs> and I never watched it because why would I? <laughs> My wife convinced me to watch it and I regretted it severely. I wish I never wasted the money. It's just porn for women. And women think it's good because they enjoy it. <laughs> but well, fuck, yeah, this if guy. you're a man, you will not enjoy it. Oh, oh, great. Now my wife's all turned on. <laughs> Sucks to be me, guys. One star got me laid. In my opinion, this movie shouldn't exist because it should be treated the same way porn is. One star. What? It's just porn for women. Jason Crouch. Full name. Wow. Find him. I will say one, inter- I, I will say one thing that was really interesting about this uh, thing was, you know, obviously there's a lot of... Um, parodies of Fifty Shades of Grey, right? uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. And uh, there was a porn parody of Fifty Shades of Grey made, and Universal sued them because of similarities. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you really can't... They had better I mean, dialogue, what's, what's I bet. So cra- what's so crazy about that is, like, genuinely, this is just Twilight fanfic. All right, so <laughs> just quick question, because none of us have seen the second one. I wanted to end each night by just... Bold predictions. What happens in the next movie? We don't know. Don't let Great. us know for right or wrong. That's so fun. Um, I do like your idea that it the the it will flip. I think that's got to be right. Yeah. Um, I I have to feel like we're gonna. I would love it if like, does it become like a murder mystery? <laughs> Which anywhere, please. Now here's what I would love. I would love to find out actually that his. Um, story about being 15 and this woman was a lie. I don't mm. think that happens, but like that's that's sort of my fantasy. Well, and it, I thought it was interesting too that it's then revealed that he's been to dinner with that Mrs. Robinson woman. Yes. Does that character show up? Do I we, would think so. Do in we the then, next movie. Yes. And who is sure. that? Like mm-hmm. uh, you know, I'm I'm trying to Kim figure. Kim Cattrall. <laughs> Honey, I don't know. <laughs> I think in one of them they get married. Because I think I remember a trailer. Oh, okay. I think. They get married? <laughs> I, be- I think I they believe do. It. I really think they do. You're not thinking do. about the Sex and City 2 trailer. That might have been it. Well, also, if, <laughs> I'm assuming, and, and forgive me if I'm just grossly wrong, but if it follows the general arc of Twilight, they will get married, they will get pregnant, and the oh. baby will eat itself. <laughs> oh. The baby will eat its way out of her belly. Is that what happens? Yes, and then it will imprint. What? And it will imprint on what is Jacob. this real? Yes. This what is are the, you talking it's about? So good. What do you mean? What am I it talking ate about? It out of her belly. Yeah. It puts the lotion no! in the basket. It really does do that, though. Yeah. She's dead. No. How can you survive a baby eating its way out of you? I don't know. Oh my God. Don't you wish you were here on Friday to find out? Oh, God. <laughs> I, my bold prediction is this. <laughs> I, hope, I hope that, that Grey Industries craters. That's, that's what I think. I think, that, I think that Grey Industries is going downhill. We know that business was going poorly. I think that it craters. He spirals. She goes out fucking a bunch of people. Like she gets a lot of sexual experience. And then yeah. like, oh, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. And that'd be pulls nice. him up out of his that'd depression nice. is what I think. That's but so cool. he has no money anymore? I don't want to. No, we don't want to ever see that. <laughs> Jude, you're absolutely right. I would like there to. There has to be wealth with To kink. a degree that is like, again, yeah. not right. Yeah. You know, no yeah. one person should have this amount. That's <laughs> what I'm looking I for. Yeah, it was I agree. egregious that he sold her car. I thought that that how he's dare got a giant garage. Gift, Keep it. If you gift her a car, wonderful. Do not sell her vintage bug. That By the way, she has she got a Tori Amos CD in there that she that now what she can do with that. Yeah. That he, what I was over water bottles. Furious. I okay, so so I didn't This Cinderella story is rotten. <laughs> I didn't believe that he actually sold it. Oh, you think it's gonna be in the sequel? It might be. That's my prediction. In his Jay Leno's garage full of cars. <laughs> it's yeah, like a jitterbug yeah, sequel. <laughs> I would love I would love it if Christian Grey was played by Jay Leno. That's my recast 
kidding. Who do I want? Jay Leno. Oh, denim man. on denim. And here's my casting. Jay Leno now and Dakota Johnson now. <laughs> no, just age it up. Just age it up. Oh, God. I, what if in the... Here's the thing. What if in the second movie, the actress who plays the Mrs. Robinson is Melanie Griffith? Ew. 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 Oh, my God. Ew. <laughs> Somebody lost their minds. Did anybody, when they were watching this movie, the thing... I, li- I was... In a Whole Foods watching it. And you uh, you were also in the green room yeah, watching it. Yeah, I was. I, I really packed it in. But so did that's they what in he this said. Movie. That's what she said. But my main response over and over again was out loud. Ew. Ew. Was anyone else? Did anyone else have that? Ew. Ew. Like that. That I was know. my main reaction to this film. I ew. wasn't even ew. I was just kind of like, uh, all right. I, yeah. I wanted to be. I wanted I this movie to be version. horny. I, what's that? I watched the unrated version. Wait a minute. What? Yeah. Seven Where's minutes, that? Seven minutes extra stuff. Seven minutes of heaven. <laughs> There's stuff. seven extra. minutes of extra heaven. It's not. It's uh, all yeah, pubes. Yeah. It's just pubes. More pubes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, just more office scenes. <laughs> That's the best part. Uh, would you recommend this movie, Jason? Fuck yeah. June. Absolutely. Jess. Ew. <laughs> I oh. would say yes. I think that there's more here on uh, Rediscovery. Uh, <laughs> I like it. I'm excited to go into next episode where we talk about the sequel of this film, Fifty Shades Darker or Deeper. I don't know. It's the second one. We're going to watch that. And now, thank you, everybody, for coming out here tonight. What a show. That's our show. Thanks again to our honorary fourth host, Jessica St. Clair, and the amazing staff at Largo. Do not worry. We will be releasing all of our episodes from our Fifty Shades of Grey series throughout the next couple of months. So stay tuned for more coverage on the least sexy sex movies ever made. Now, if you want to feel like you are part of our Fifty Shades of Grey live show, you can get the shirt that we designed. Uh for the audience. That's right. Uh, we designed a a gray corporation shirt. That's right. Christian Gray has a nonsensical company that uh, includes business, telecommunications, independent publishing, blow dry bars, and charity. And you can buy that shirt at tpublic.com slash stores slash HDTGM. And uh, if you've been dying to attend one of our live shows, well, you're in luck. We still have some tickets left for our tour in the UK and Ireland. I think that the most tickets are available in Belfast, but we just sold out in Glasgow and Dublin, and we are moments away from selling out in London. So get those tickets and head to hdtgm.com to find out what movies we're doing and to purchase tickets. And just to let you know, uh, check out the movie Scramble. June appears in this film. It's an independent film that's really funny about uh, a 35-year-old woman who goes on a quest to freeze her eggs, and it's not as easy as she thought it would be. The movie is hilarious. June is great. I love this movie. Check it out. Leah McKendrick wrote and directed it. It's fantastic. And I know I've mentioned this a few times, but my book, Joyful Recollections of Trauma, is now available to pre-order. And pre-ordering is so important. It's actually more important than buying it the week it comes out. So pre-order my book right now. And if you do that, save your receipt, head to my website, and you can sign up to get a personalized postcard from me, plus access to a part of my website where I will have exclusive material that no one has ever seen. I'm talking about pictures and videos, and it's only for pre-ordering people only. I appreciate all the support I've already gotten from our amazing How Did This Get Made audience in pre-ordering this book. And uh, and I just want to let you know, I really, really appreciate it. So you're going to buy something, I'm going to give you something, and and my hand might fall off, but I can't wait to sign something for you. And as always, if you have a correction or omission from this last episode, we want to know about them. Go to our Discord at discord.gg slash hdtgm or leave me a voicemail at 619-PAUL-ASK. Then make sure you tune in next week for our Last Looks follow-up episode to hear me respond to your messages. Plus, Jason will stop by for a chat. And as always, we will announce our next movie. Remember, you can find us everywhere online at hdtgm. And if you love the show, please tell your friends 
That's the way the word spreads. And if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, make sure you are following us. And last but not least, I got to say thank you to all of our listeners who support this show and our entire behind the scenes staff who keeps this show running. I am talking about our producers, Scott Sani, Molly Reynolds, our movie picking producer, Avril Halley, our associate producer, Jess Cisneros, and our engineers, Casey Holford and Rich Garcia. That's all I got. Bye for now. See you next week. Just 